Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, this week, I guess it's just going to be about you, Aquarius. Uh, we'll get back to love and all of that crazy stuff um, eventually, right? But this week is, we're, we're using a lot of oracle cards and we're diving deep, okay? So um, this is going to be about, for a lot of you, this is career, okay? And where you are and how you look at yourself. You have a lot of cards here of self, self-interest, self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, all of that. I know most of my Aquarius look at it at themselves and they say, I'm, I'm great. I'm beautiful. I'm this, I'm that. But then when it comes to taking time out and really institution and instituting things, bringing it into fruition, maybe you may feel lack in some areas or there's hesitation because maybe you're not all the way there in terms of feeling super confident about whatever it is you're trying to engage in. Keep in mind, confidence is, you know, it is, it goes hand in hand with knowledge. You know, if you know, then you're confident. It's like me, someone asking me to work on a jet plane engine. Well, I have no knowledge of that. So I don't feel, I would say, hey, I don't feel confident working on this plane's engine because I don't know how to do it. So Aquarius, always keep in mind that when you, feel lack of confidence because something there you just don't know there's you feel like you're shooting in the dark or um it could even be self-confidence maybe you don't know yourself you don't know how capable wonderful beautiful you really are and these cards are asking you to really dig deep in in regards to that especially in career and finance where is aquarius right now aquarius is Ayn Rand, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, self-interest has mass ap appeal. Um, she's a woman who wrote a few different books about objectivism, uh, self-interest, uh, communism, just more so how people make it big, how they got where they are, how they have amassed, you know, some type of wealth. But it was because they put all attention, all energy, all you know onus all time on self like it wasn't really about everything and everyone else so it's like maybe you need to start to pull in your energy aquarius maybe you're trying to put your energy into something else being aligned with this corporation or this group of people or being in partnership oh i can't do it unless i have a partner or i have someone with me or i have a liaison or the self you know, and you're going to have to rely on self, self-reliant also coming up. Why is, uh, the cards talking about that? It, it says, here's your advice. Um, your advice, two cards came out for advice is, um, Serena Williams and Sergey Brian. Okay. So Serena Williams, of course, we know that she's great at tennis. Um, she, of course, has made lots of money in terms of tennis and endorsements and advertising and so forth. But when you dig deep into her story, she also, you know, um, has really had, she has her hands in so many different pots or she has so many different avenues of uh, money making or streams of income here. Uh, she has um, a, a clothing line or a, a fashion line that it's more commercial. Um, it's business to business type of um, deals. It's not consumer. She also uh, owns a bit of um, the dolphins. Uh, she has investment her in Venus, her sister having a uh, stake in the uh, the football. I think it's football dolphins. Um, she also has uh, an extensive collection in Nike. Uh, therefore, she makes a royalty from that also. She has a lot of other investments too. Um, so what the cards are telling you, Aquarius, master one because she mastered tennis, right? That's where she made 
her bread and butter, all of her money. And then she started to branch out and really started to put her irons, you know, in the fire, different irons in the fire. Um, so it's like master one and then branch out in terms of all these different um, streams of income, but trying to get all these different streams of income going all at once. It's going to be a nightmare. You could fail and you could fail miserably. So master one and then move on because you'll always have that um, that basis. You always have that foundation to go back to um, as Serena does. You know, she made a, a, a lot of money um, just doing what she loved and what she was good at. And that was tennis. And then she decided to branch out. Sergey Brian. Okay, so he is a CEO, co-founder of Google. Okay, I don't major, right? The cards, the advice here is asking you to provide answers to life's questions. I mean, this guy actually came up with, he created his own verb. You tell people to go Google that all the time, or you can Google it, or it's on Google, or why didn't you go to Google? Or Google tells you where to go now. We have Google Maps and uh, we have a uh, Gmail. It even tells you how to respond, how you can respond, right? Um, so the cards are telling you just create something big if you can. If you have the the wherewithal and the the brain power, it, it's telling you to. If you don't know where you should start, if you know that you should be doing something self, because we got a lot of self cards. So also, what came up with self employment? If you know that you should be embarking on self employment, but you don't know where to go, how to start, what you be good at, what you should do. The number one question right now for you in terms of starting business should be: How can I answer life's questions? Okay, how can um, I I create something that you know is vast that um, reaches many or all you know if you will? Um, so yeah, the cards are asking you to, how do you solve a problem and identify a problem, solve it, uh, collaborate also, um, collaborate in terms of idea. Doesn't mean that you need to collaborate in terms of business, but collaborate. In terms of idea get around like-minded individuals also yep because and on ryan says that like-minded individuals so that um, you can even go further in terms of career finance uh, wealth it says if you take the advice of the cars master one then start other things answer life's questions then you can be like walt disney okay um Walt Disney, of course, we know he, he did so much, and but he's also had significant failures. And then he finally got it. Aha, uh -huh, it's a cute. Does it sing? Um, that's the way you make it ching ching or cha ching. <laughs> um, it also says um, the happiest place on earth charges admission. And we know they're talking about Disney World, right? So if you know that you have something, if you offer something that makes people happy, that pulls on the heartstrings, that gets people's emotions, you know, moving, uh, going, then you need to charge and you need to charge your weight, you know, and what it's worth. And you need to, you need to up it is what, is what I'm hearing. You know, um, don't just give away your service, um, account for your time, your energy, and then for your product or your service, but it just can't be your, you know, service. Okay. You're just paying for the service because then you can get burnout. We do have a lot of self, 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 self energy here. And they want you to focus on self and how you can really market yourself, sell yourself and how you need to be getting the right price for self. Okay. Um, where you were in the past aquarius were was our details 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 so it says you need to look over the details or you looked over the details in the past you got things done um may even have picked up a book learned something um you started to just kind of 
drill down. Maybe you were looking at the bigger picture and it was becoming real whimsical and very fairy tale and very Disney like if you will, but it wasn't very concrete, practical or rational. So some of you got real firm on the details, picked up books, picked up large contracts and try to read them yourself or either go over with someone, but you got clarity, okay? Um, because you knew that in order to actually have something here, you need it to, um, you need to be sure, you need to have accuracy, um, and you need to have clarity here. So in the past, you were all about the details. The devil was in the details in terms of maybe even um, launching, launching something. Maybe it took a long time, long time to launch, launch something here. Okay, so that was the past for you. Where you are right now, Aquarius, is a balancing act. So you know that a decision needs to be made. Something's going to have to fall off or fall by the wayside, or you just can't do both, or you can't do three things, or you can't do four things. You're going to have to make a decision, so you're going to have to cut it out, right? Um, you're balancing everything out. A lot's going on for you right now. A lot of good things also, but at the same time, because you don't want to be in a place of um, self-depletion or depletion, um, and you, you want to be self-reliant and you want to, um, be capable, you're going to have to cut something off and you already know what that thing is, or you need to figure out what that thing is, or you need to get absolutely firm in terms of making a decision here. Cause you're trying to keep it all up in the air. And if you're in a balancing act in terms of your money right now, where there's, you just don't know what's coming for you or. Um, you, you know, you don't know if you're going to drop the ball here, then you need to get to a better place in terms of, um, of course, in terms of stability, but you need to learn how to stabilize that. Like what makes sense to put all your energy and effort behind? And if that is a job, then you need to do your job and work overtime or find another job or whatever it is you do. Um, and if it is that maybe your job is, and crouching or infringing on your free time to do your business or your self-employment and you know that you can make money with this thing then you're gonna have to get real firm on how you um will go about making the division the decision of maybe leaving job or leaving the self-employment so you just gotta get there's a decision needing to be made because you're trying to keep everything up in the air some of you aren't as serious as you need to be to see the money that you could be uh, seeing or having here. All right, so sacred pool is so past, present, future. Aquarius, sacred pool, very nice. Um, Diving deep, okay? So it's like with the sacred pool here, it's like the cards in the near future are gonna want you to really reflect on where you are and how you got there. And don't just be in the energy of going, 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 getting, 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 need more, more, more. It's going to say, stop, take a minute, look in that pool, in that mirror of where you were and now where you are, because it's like you're going to be in a very, very much better place, better position. And they don't want you to discount or discredit that or uh, de denounce that or to push it down. It's a big deal that you manifest this thing or this job or this home or this business or this relationship and they want you to take a step back and really rest in the energy of knowing that you were are a co-creator in your existence here and they want you to understand how powerful you are okay so in the near future things are going to just look so green lush and there's going to be growth here and before you just run off to the next thing and you're trying to conquer something else um, the universe is going to want you to take a step back and look in that sacred pool and just really see how strong, magnificent, uh, courageous, able, reliant, resilient you are before you move and make an, another move. Okay. Cause you're going to have some manifestation here. Four and seven is 11, right? And then we have 11 here. So 11, 11, you're going to have some manifestation of some dreams coming in instant manifestation. Let's clarify with, um, some tarot and then we'll get out of here so aquarius this looks really 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 good all as usual uh, i guess this week is just self week all right so i'm just going with what spirit gives me and the cards they give me and by the way these cards came from a very loyal uh subscriber michelle thank you michelle uh let's see i have a uh, i have decks i bought decks i've been gifted 
and some of them I have to learn so because I like to read the books and stuff that came with them so I want to debut all these different decks but I can't because I don't know what they're saying so I'm just at night I'm reading these books and I'm just trying to make it all happen guys pray for me All right, so we got so many cards that fell out. We have balancing that. The two of pentacles. You got a lot going on, Aquarius. Transferring money, moving money. I don't think it's a bad thing. Because in two of pentacles, it talks about, it's. some would say this is stressful. But Aquarius, you have gotten in the rhythm of this. Um, it is not stressful. It is you just um, building yourself to a place of where you'll be in that sacred pool. Where things will be um, made true, manifest for you. Um, it says what you do in the two of pentacles will show up in the four of pentacles when you have that status that status change there um, maybe that large sum of money that comes in newfound wealth you know so but it's before you get to the four you're gonna go through the two right and it's just like you, you're balancing everything out and you're getting a lot of things done maybe again like i just mentioned i'm reading books and it, it, it is, it's funny because the two of pentacles talks about doing two different things at the same time working trying to learn reading books maybe this is you you know trying to gain knowledge we talked about knowledge and confidence here aquarius so it's just like more so if you want to um see something coming to fruition if you want to get better at it you're going to have to do the work okay make the the changes happening here in the two of pentacles the two of pentacles talks about change and the three of pentacles talks about work it talks about the work that you've already done the establishment the initial stages of creation you doing the right thing all right let's see what else do we have for the aquarius here okay uh, we got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this is the end of a that curse, the very cursed time, that tough time, that failure. Maybe that failure that Walt Disney saw before he saw Disney, the Mickey Mouse blow up. Maybe this is the energy that you're in, Aquarius, because that is your future energy. If you take the advice of the cards, um, you can come out of that tough time, the end of a turbulent, drama-filled, overly dramatic blindsided failure collapse of all projects oh, that is done um that is no more aquarius so it's like you're coming into a place of abundance and um, the universe just wants you to maintain your position okay and then we have the knight of cups so this is uh, insight this is inspiration okay this is downloads from the universe this is um, getting creative about money making endeavors or new money making endeavors thinking outside of the box with the knight of cups here very nice and we talked about that with sergey brian like answer answers life's questions you know bring an answer to life's questions um let um the spirit use you a lot of people a lot of successful people talk about how they came up with the idea and they're like you know and one day i was dreaming or one day i was in you know i was daydreaming or you know, I was in kind of like, you know, just thinking about what I could do and just got some inspiration. You know, let, let, you know, the divine use you, okay? So let those downloads happen for you, Aquarius. Let's see what else do we have here. I, I think I'm going to title this How to Become a Millionaire because I see like a lot of money, a lot of millionaire type of energy, a lot of stability here for you, Aquarius, especially because some of you are being real methodical about how you go about this, yeah. And then we have um, the nine of swords. So they want you to come out of this Aquarius thinking that, you know, things are going to turn out horrible. Going backwards with the nine of swords here. Um, Self-fulfilling prophecies, negative. Um, thinking about that time when it didn't work and you're thinking about it over and over again and, and, and thinking that, oh, it's going to be just like this this time. But you need to come out of that Aquarius, says the nine of swords. You need to think positive. And the Ten of Swords says it's over. It's really done. This is just a trick or a test of the mind. The Nine, excuse me, the Swords talk about test and trial. This could just be a test and a trial of your willpower, of your self-reliance, of your self-esteem, of your self-confidence. You remember self is really the uh, theme here in this reading. Okay, Aquarius, um, maybe about how you think about yourself. So this is just a test here. Get past the test. Uh, every negative thought you have about self, have five other positive thoughts come behind it. 
Uh, that is how you truly manifest there. And also get some knowledge, okay, Aquarius? You can't escape that. All right, let's see what else do we have for the Aquarius. Very, very nice. Um, the Ten of Wands. So you could be seeing Ten Ten. That's like tough times is over, Aquarius. All that working hard and uh, working too hard and working too many hours and overworking and not knowing where you were going and just showing up and just, you know, doing what you needed to do. Um, just being clouded being on autopilot um stress from work here maybe even being burdened by your own success here that is over and then we have uh the three of swords okay so what we got coming out here is um it looks like there could have been maybe collapse or financial financial collapse due to separation a breakup or getting hurt now this could be physically hurt needing surgery or having gone through some like physical hurt and you you're trying to recoup and recover um and heal and, and you were isolated or put in alienation because you were at a place of not being well so it looks like all of that is turning around for your queries there's a card that fell on the floor hang on all right so yeah, we got the Queen of Wands coming out. So you're brilliant, talented. You need to know that the Queen of Wands also talks talks about um, life purpose. Okay, it just seems like when you start walking in your life purpose, things just fall in place. Aquarius, you find the one, you find the house, you find the dog, you get the children. If this is what you want, everybody's dream life is different. Um, but when you get in alignment you're in alignment think about that when things are out of alignment it just doesn't work right think about the alignment on your vehicles if you the alignment is off on your wheels it's just, you know turning when you turn or make turns it could be scraping or making loud sounds or when you um drive you know fast in your car or at a certain speed the wheel is shaking the steering wheel is shaking you know all of that when things are out of alignment, it's just out of alignment. It's just not working right. But when you're in alignment, Aquarius, everything can work for you. So it's just like get in alignment. Get in, in alignment with your life purpose. And if you don't know your life purpose, let that be your manifest. Excuse me. Let that be your meditation. What is my life purpose? Speaking to your higher power, whatever that may be, whatever it is for you. Um, let it be your prayer. What is my life purpose? You know, I am. I imagine. Of course i don't have any express knowledge but i imagine that um the god of the universe loves um, meditation and prayers like that versus can you please make me rich can you please make me thinner can you please heal me you know things of that nature like really wanting to know why you're here and wanted to get in alignment now look i'm gonna tell you when you start praying prayers like that things start changing it's gonna start looking real or real shaky around you but sometimes you got to topple you know or dump everything on its head and then get it right and then the rubble you can then get get right you can then get on the right path here so um make that your your, your prayer you know to get um be in your life purpose whatever that may be for some of you wow because at the bottom of the deck you have victory six of wands here uh, you have prestige you have eyes on you 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 win um, because you didn't decide to um, be confused or be in uh, competing um, goals or just kind of tire yourself out in the five of wands be doing so much so many different things and be so active um, but not knowing what you're really doing and be in that temporary energy for such a long time you decided to um, make a choice here maybe even higher choice with the six of wands here this is like again life purpose um life purpose and also like uh, principles learning principles and morals to stepping up higher higher ground higher road it's like some of you just want a higher consciousness about self and what it is you should be doing because you knew that it will balance you out some of you just know that you were where you were not supposed to be in your career in your finance it just doesn't serve you it doesn't fit you you don't feel good about it anymore going to work is tiresome is bored 
you know, you're bored or there is boredom, um, if there's a lack there, maybe in your finances or you're being underpaid, um, or it's just a lack of interest there. So it's like some, some of you need to do your own thing. The six of wands is also self-interest too. It's just walking off and strutting your stuff. And maybe that's what you'll do once you get to a place of um, being able to do that and get to a place of uh, manifestation. Because it says that you're going to be in that sacred pool in the near future, Aquarius. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.